The fallout continues a day after Missouri Governor Eric Greitens was indicted on felony charges of invasion of privacy. The indictment is connected to allegations the governor secretly took a compromising photo of a woman he was having an extramarital affair with, threatening to make that picture public if she exposed their affair. Today, the governor resigning his leadership position with the Republican Governor's Association. His attorney releasing this statement saying, quote, the charges against my client are baseless and unfounded. My client is absolutely innocent. We will be filing a motion to dismiss. And the Missouri Republican Party also coming out in defense of Greitens saying, quote, Missouri Missourians should see this for what it is, a political hit job. Missouri Attorney General and Senate candidate Josh Hawley saying this, this issue needs to play out in the justice system, that these charges are a serious matter and that there is no place for party or partisanship in this matter. Now joining us is Professor Elizabeth dudash Buzkirk of Missouri State University, who will be providing political analysis for us. Let's start with this. A grand jury indictment holds a lot of weight. What does that mean for the governor? So an indictment, of course, does not mean that the governor needs to step down or resign. It doesn't mean that he necessarily cannot do his job. But a felony indictment is important, and it's important for us to understand the impact that this could have on his ability to sort of have political power in the state. He's already struggled some with Jefferson City, both the House and the Senate, and he needs to, to keep as much uh, power as he can. This indictment suggests that there's not a lot of confidence in his ability to do his job because he has violated a criminal statute. A lot of people are calling for his resignation. Will the governor resign? That is a really tough question, but right now his answer is no. He's sticking to it. He's uh, not necessarily doubling down, but he's definitely not showing any indication that he's going to step down uh, anytime soon. He is showing that he recognizes the gravity of this situation, specifically because he has you know, taken, you know, sort of stepped back from his role in the Governor's Association, and he is saying he wants to focus on this particularly. And the question that most Missourians will have for the governor is, if you're focusing on your legal troubles, how can you focus on Missourians? So the first thing that the governor should ask himself is, what can I do for that's best for Missouri? Exactly. And now finishing it off, is this a political hit job like what has been mentioned? A lot of people have been suggesting that it's a political hit job for some reason. And the, the reason I'm incredulous about that is because the person who would take over is Parson, the lieutenant governor, also a Republican, also very conservative. So this is not a smart way to go about getting at the governor. Plus, he was a rising star, a meteorite. He's not somebody that we would have wanted to take down no matter what political side of the fence you're on. Uh, he was a good representation for Missouri, and now we have to deal with the fallout of a, a, pretty, big, uh, a pretty big indictment, honestly. And this issue, it's not going to be going away anytime soon. It is not going to go away anytime soon. The next court date is March 16th. We're going to be waiting around to see what he does between now and then if more evidence becomes public. But you can find this information out there. It's, it's been transparent. We know exactly what he did, and we know exactly what law he violated. We'll have to see what happens in the courts. Thank you, Professor. Yeah, thank you so much for joining us. I'm sure we'll be talking with you again very soon. Absolutely. Thank, thank you. you so much.